So what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video is I'm gonna show you how to remove the fan and fan clutch. And I'm gonna show you how to remove that fan without any special tools. Um, they do make a special tool um, that makes it you know, a little bit easier. And you can get that tool for the best price, way cheaper um, than anywhere else off of Amazon dot com and that is linked up in the description below so click in the description below and if you do not have that tool or don't want to wait on it this video is going to show you how to remove this fan right here without any special tools only using you know basic tools that uh, you should have in your toolbox so I am going to show you how to do that in this video right now. So please stay tuned. And again, if you would like to buy the special tool that isn't too much, it's like 20 or 30 bucks off of Amazon, and it's a universal tool, it'll work on any vehicle, click in the description below, in the description below. So stay tuned. All righty, now to get off the fan, we're basically going to have to keep that um, black deal that the fan bolts to right here from spinning. Um, and the belt does not have enough tension to, uh, to be able to get it off. Um, you know, if the belt is on there, it's just going to slide because uh, the belt just won't have enough tension. So what we're going to actually use, they make a special tool. But if you do not have that tool, what you can use is a pair of vice grips like this. And you'll want to adjust them just right. And you can slide that tool um, right in here where your belt tensioner is and where that hose is that we took off right in between there. So I'll show you how I'm going to do this is I'm going to slide it down in there like that. What I did, um, it was hard for me to video that because uh, I'm just doing this by myself. But basically those vice grips have to be very, very tight on there. And I actually used... this pair of pliers and put them as wide as they go and I actually use these to clamp down the vice grips to get it on there super tight you want to put it right in that position right there right between that top um, hose that we took off and the uh, belt tensioner and then I use my pipe wrench and also used a large pipe for more leverage. So I was able to stick that inside the pipe like that so I could get a lot of leverage. Um, another thing that you can do if you got it is uh, I actually don't have my um, heat thing here right now, but like a propane um, it's not a torch but it's basically like what you'd use to solder um, like copper and you can heat it up a little bit and that'll um, make it looser but you, you want to be careful because that fan is plastic so then what I did is you put that pipe wrench on the nut and then break it loose and I got it broken loose, as you can see, because it is spinning off of there. So, we'll loosen this all the way up. You can see it coming off of there already. 
and they do make a tool if you're so lucky as to have it that'll go in those holes and um, make it a lot easier to get this off and i'll link it up in the description below but as you can see this fan is threading off of there So after you get it loose enough, you can just go ahead and spin it off of there. And then we'll set this down. We'll be careful. We don't want to damage our uh, radiator. So we got that, that fan off of there. And then we'll take off our vice grips. And they're actually on there so tight. I'm going to use these pliers right here to get them off of there on the tab bang so we'll take you off our vice grips we got that fan all the way off of there as you can see now the the next thing that we're gonna have to do alrighty guys thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it um, I hope this video helps you. Like I said, if this did not work for you and you need that special tool that is a universal tool that will work on any year, make, or model vehicle, click below in the description. Please let me know in the comment section if this video helped you. Always love your feedback, positive or negative and thank you so much for watching please subscribe 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 also this is a 2003 chevy silverado and this is actually going to be the same for a ton of different gmc chevrolet and um, cadillac vehicles that have either the 4.8 liter V8, the 5.3 uh, liter V8, or the 6.0 liter V8. And I also have another video um, detailing how to change the water pump, which is, um, you know, a, a main reason that you'd want to take off this fan. So if you want to see that whole video detailing how to change the water pump, um, please just click in the description there's a link or also stay tuned at the end of this video there's also a link to it thanks so much for watching guys and until next time peace because every day we taking it every day we taking it thanks guys is i'm going to slide it down in there like that what I did um, it was hard for me to video that because uh, I'm just doing this by myself but basically those vice grips have to be very very tight on there and I actually used this pair of pliers and put them as wide as they go and I actually use these to clamp down the vice grips to get it on there super tight. You want to put it right in that position right there, right between that top um, hose that we took off and the belt tensioner. And then I use my pipe wrench and also used a large pipe for more leverage. So I was able to stick that inside the pipe like that so I could get a lot of leverage. Um, another thing that you can do if you got it is uh, I actually don't have my um, heat thing here right now but like a 
propane. Um, it's not a torch, but it's basically like what you'd use to solder um, like copper. And you can heat it up a little bit and that'll um, make it looser. But you, you want to be careful because that fan is plastic. So then what I did is you put that pipe wrench on the nut and then break it loose. 